Hello everyone, Sam is here from myforexmagicweb.com. Okay, yeah, I do. I use this uh, go to webinar site to make my videos. Uh, it's much better here instead of any other program. So I'm not doing the live webinar; it's just the video I'm trying to make, and then I'll send it out just like I did a couple of time, last couple of times. Um, okay. Now, uh, this is going to be a part two of uh, this Yoru making a bad pattern, okay? Uh, in part one, you know that we were touching this 23.6% line, and this was the scenario that uh, if we break this to the downside, then we will go for a yellow pattern, A, B is equal to C, D, but uh, my preferred one was uh, the bad pattern, and uh, if that for that we needed to hold this 23.6% line to go up to, uh, towards D okay and this is a you know pretty nice distance so we would not go in a straight line and uh, I was hoping that we will go up and break this point B comes back and um, uh, find support and then go again but we have uh, quite a you know uh, uh, two wobble here right we came down below the speed, then went above it again, then came down. Right now, we, we came down, and it is a danger zone. Uh, means that uh, this TL is uh, the key right now, this black rising TL you can see here. This need to hold, and then we need to go back above this B point here. Okay, it's 2.3960 in order to go up there. But if we break this TL to the downside, then will this B become this B point will become again a, a resistance, and then we might see more downside. Okay, and then euro will be getting weaker. So if the euro index is going uh, to the upside, it is getting stronger, right? So so far so good. You know, this is uh, sometimes you know like a wave um, wave three usually have five waves in it uh, or like an impulse wave any impulse waves and then it goes like one two and then we have three also have five so it's like one two three four five you know so on and so forth so it could be that I don't know let's see time will tell <laughs> but uh, for now it is very important that we hold this uh, rising black tier okay let's see this on a, on a smaller time frame and uh, one hour the what kind of picture we got we have this picture here on a one hour okay and uh, uh, I have a very strong feeling that we will hold this black TL and then go up again for the, for the fact that uh, my indicators are also pointing uh, you know turning bullish it will turn bullish right now they're not but for last two times like right around here and then uh, here especially after touching this red line went up so now we are back to this uh, horizontal support kiss and this trend line case already right so if you know pretty good chance that we will hold this here and then go back and make another higher high and that would be our bad pattern completion I guess so uh, this is already in place turning up and but I need this one to come down and then need a bullish candle uh, so that it will turn up and then we will see well, what we can do. If not, if you break to the downside then hope that this red um, uh, MA will uh, hold like this, like, like here. Okay, uh, it, it acts very nice uh, support resistance. So uh, even if this trend line uh, breaks to the downside then I'll see if we can hold uh, this MA and then go back up again. Okay. And uh, if you go back up, then we have to see that uh, we go above uh, at least this area for, you know, keep going up. So let's see. Just uh, give you a little heads up. But, uh, uh, you know, Euro Yen, uh, not Euro, Euro Aussie, uh, hope that you guys made some. There was a 500, uh, more than 500 pip bounce, right? On that and uh, euro franc went up uh, as well let me show you the Frankie as well uh, well before we do that we will see USDX a little bit USDX uh, and remember in the last video I sent out I said uh, we are here and we might pull back a little bit before going up this is a channel here see this one two this is three and then point four will be here and, you know, we need a touch of that to fill uh, finish the channel touch 
and for that we have to go up this is also coming 78.6 percent of this whole drop here okay so it's not in straight it's like a b c fashion and then this is also a and then sideways b and then we're going as c to the upside so this whole thing is still a correction okay it's uh, some kind of uh, triangle is in place so uh, i'll see it to it later the what kind and what it is need to see the internal structure of that but for now, we are based on, you know, SNR levels. This is a level that uh, act as, uh, acting as uh, resistance, and we are pulling back. So either this high, or if we pull back a little more to this one. Okay, so that will uh, make the U.S. dollar a little weaker. And that will, um, you know, uh, all the USD pairs will probably will go up a little bit or, or, or start ranging or something. Because Euro, if Euro is getting strong, and this getting weaker, you know, then your US they need to go up. Simple. Um, but uh, Euro index, we just saw it that it's very vulnerable right now, and uh, it might break this. It might break to the downside. Okay, so time will tell what's going to happen here. And uh, like I said, USDX um, also, you know, it looks like it's pulling back, but then can you know just pop and go up so right now here is you know it's just 1230 and uh, mostly the trading time is gone and uh, we're going to be ranging and all that so I'll see what uh, they are, are trying to do uh, for London session we'll get ready uh, also what I need to show is that um, Frankie um, Frank index if I can find it all right here so Frank index daily chart, as you can see, this is what the picture is. Uh, it was um, it was a very nice big uptrend. See, I was watching it, and you know, it, it's like man, it's a huge, huge you know, since um, uh, August 2012. Just keep going up, right? The whole uh, the rest of the August, and then we finished the 2013 already, and it's still very strong. Uh, moving up, but uh, time to time it need the retracement so now if this is and here uh, this big move so this could be a and now b is right here uh, we are posting a b point here and then we might drop here for the c to this level here or maybe touch of uh, this tl the blue tl around 61 percent okay so this would be around somewhere here which is also this um, horizontal levels as well right this whole band here so you know this is a very good possibility that it will continue um, to the downside uh, after posting this B point so it's going to be A B C making some kind of a guard layer this 50% pullback here and then it goes up here and then it start dropping then might come back you know for 88% but I think this uh, trend line is going to stop it going there so we may not have a perfect uh, harmonic pattern, but some kind of, you know, uh, half and half kind of thing. <laughs> so uh, let's see if it comes down uh, to 61% uh, and then bounce from there. So, but for now, it is getting a stop here. Four-hour chart is also telling you something right here. See, this is the area, and it is also a monthly pivot, 194.83, and this is where it just hit and you know, pulled back. So let's see if we drop, and if we drop, then we have this um, franc index weakening, and our Euro, uh, USD franc will probably go up, or any other uh, uh, you know uh, franc pair. If you're trading, just make sure that the franc you keep it on the weaker side, because uh, if this area hold and we start dropping. Frank is going to get weaker. Okay, and USD Frank will go up, and uh, any other uh, pair, if you're trading, will do the same. <coughs> uh, Frank Yen is another one, so you know, be very careful. That moves uh, pretty nice. Aussie uh, index, uh, as I told you, that it might go up and drop again after hitting this TL, and that's what it did. It hit the TL and dropping. So the question is that we are, we are already below these levels, and uh, but are we going to break this low here or we go back for the black TL? Time will tell. Oh, by the way, uh, the Newsy um, uh, 
index is also very nice. It is going up. New Z dollar is getting strong, by the way. Okay, very, very nice. Um, it has a chance that it will come down uh, to this area here, but it looks like that we are, you know, this candle is trying to break it. It's a four-hour chart. So if this candle breaks and close above it, then we might continue going up just like this one. See, we went up, we make like a bullish flag. That's what we call it. And then again, a pull, a bullish flag, and continuation. If you can look at the daily, you will understand what I'm talking about. Okay, this is uh, the nice leaf is starting from here, pull back, went up, sideway movement, like a, you know, uh, a complex selection. I would not say triangle, it's more than a triangle. Even if we call this, this three, four, five, then A, B, C, D, E. Yeah, it's sort, sort of a triangle, yes. I didn't pay attention to that. Kiwi, I don't trade that much, you know. All right, so this one. But this is like a flat here. All right. So if uh, it's a sort of a, it's called rising triangle something. I don't know. Falling triangle actually. Anyway, so uh, we broke it, uh, broke above it, and this is the high here. Okay, we held uh, above it, we went above, and then now we're dropping. But if we break this um, flag to the upside, then uh, we are going up straight here. So it is high. So it is very nice. And uh, New Zealand Yen and other New Zealand USD or other uh, New Z uh, Kiwi pairs, if you want to trade, make sure that Kiwi is getting strong. Okay, not Aussie, but Kiwi for sure. And then you trade it accordingly. Okay, it, it is possible that we still, uh, you know, uh, hold this uh, TL and then price drop to this area here. Okay, exactly the same thing happened here. See, this high here came in with this red light and then it bounces from there. <laughs> and goes up all the way. So if we drop here, this red line will be right around here. By the time the price comes, we hit that and we go up again. Or maybe go up from here. Time will tell, just watch. All right. The drop, it, you see, this is where it's coming in. But it can do strange things, right? You expect to come down, it doesn't, it goes up. Then you think that, well, it's not gonna come down, it's too much momentum is going up, that's where it comes down. <laughs> anyway, so just watch this. Um, uh, very nice setup here uh, with the Kiwi charts. I uh, don't want to um, open. Let's see. Uh, again, this is, let me close it before you get confused. <laughs> it's too many uh, things open and you know, all that. Uh, this is another uh, indicator that I made and I'm testing it. So it's just showing me different things. But there is nothing to show here, so forget about it. It's just... Uh, uh, because I haven't, there might be something, but I haven't uh, seen that yet. I didn't pay attention, so I can't tell you. But that's this is it uh, for the Kiwi index. Watch it. This area, if we continue going up, then you know, on a smaller time frame, just uh, check it. If it's going up and getting strong, then you know, um, uh, Kiwi uh, US dollar or uh, New Zealand yen is very good. It's been going up and up and up. I mean, let me show you anyway. New Zealand is just, you know, it's a very good pair to go long. Simple as that. Do I have it here? That is a question. Okay, here. Let me show this, this four-hour channel. Okay, New Zealand. All right. So look at this pair uh, for since when. This is a very strong not as strong, but it's a very consistent uptrend. And it is since uh, November, October. This is a four hour chart, by the way. So October, November, December, we are in January. Every time it comes down, 
dip and go up. So we are doing the same thing again. This is a uh, one hour 200 EMA red line. So it's just touching and now bouncing. So let's see. I'm hoping that it may come down to this TL. But then again, it may not. You know. If you... So like I said, Kiwi is getting it strong. This pair will go up. You want to trade it, trade it very confidently. Okay, so it may dip a little bit, but then the trend line will, it's going to hold, all right? Uh, this indicator is all the way down. This is up a little bit, so may have a little room to the downside, okay? Just like it's coming down here and then you know, round bottom and then go up again. So maybe, uh, to, you know, right now it's not the time for trading, so this is like a consolidation time. But, you know, Asia, this is Asian currency, by the way, so, you know, it, it can move very good in Asian session. So let's see. All right. So um, you know what to do with um, Euro index. We're following. Let's see what happened. It's any move there. Euro index, where it is, where it is, where it is. Uh, let's see one hour if we break. Uh, already broke that. Nope. We are about to. Ah, hmm. Okay, very confusing. If you break it to the downside, and actually it will be good. Uh, if our, you know, pattern is not going to be finished, but Euro, if it, it breaks to the downside, Euro start getting weaker, and then you have uh, uh, USD index going up, then, you know, Euro USD will be coming down, and then our USD franc will be going up. So in that scenario, we are still good. You know, I, I pointed Euro USD coming down uh, on a weekly chart a long time ago. Uh, around 145, right, uh, 33, 3145 area, 33, 33 first, and then 30, 3145, I still remember that. So those are my downside target on Euro USD anyway. So for, for that, we need the Euro to uh, get, you know, start getting weaker, all right? So pattern or not, if it start getting weaker and then the US dollar start getting, you know, going up, uh, we will get our targets on your USD. So this is it for now. This is part two. Watch out for this uh, uh, pattern. But at least, uh, you know, I was right halfway, right? <laughs> from here, you see the distance from here to D, I'm at halfway, right? So I, I was already right halfway. <laughs> so let's see what the rest of the halfway uh, give us. So this is it for now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. If anything comes in, I'll make a video and uh, send it out again. All right. All right, bye now.